Howdy. These news are so outrageous, I just have to make a video. A cluster of ancient Neolithic standing stones in France were bulldozed to make way for a DIY store. Thirty-nine ancient monoliths were swept away from a site in France to make room for a DIY store. The stones thought to date back 7,000 years are in a region famed for its standing stones. Amid an uproar, local officials attributed the decision to make to a mix-up in zoning rules. There is uproar in western France after what are believed to be 39 ancient standing stones were removed from a site to make way for a DIY store. <laughs> this is... what? Are you kidding me? Local archaeologist Christian Obelz estimated the stones at the rural site of Montabin go back at least 7,000 years, making them some of the oldest in the region, West France reported. Despite this, a planning application for a store from the Mr. Bricolage chain, a nationwide outlet selling DIY products, was approved, according to the local officials. The stones have now been moved. Mont de Bain is on the edge of the Garnac region in France, famed for its many years for ancient standing stones. They are thought to have been put up by Neolithic people for purposes that remain a mystery. The nearby tourist sites of Menec, Garmirio, and Gerliscan, which collectively hold around 3,000 ancient stones, are carefully managed. <laughs> but at Montabin, an apparent lack of coordination between the municipal authorities or the status of the site led to the stones being swept away. The site had been listed as a part of UNESCO World Heritage application, the local reported. However, local planning regulations were not updated to reflect that, per the outlet. A statement released by the Brittany Cultural Affairs Office said that studies had been conducted there and the land had been designated for commercial use. A building permit was granted in August last year. Agence France Presse reported. Major Olivier Lepic told the outlet, outlet that had followed the law and that the site had low archaeological archaeological value. Think so? Louis Jonlin, a spokesperson for Mr. Bricolage, told Insider that the company sincerely regrets the situation, but pointed to the permit it received to build its door. The UNESCO application, if it goes through, will see the sites more closely regulated. While Lippic attributed the decision to a mistake with the region's complex zoning situation, Obels told the local that he believed it had been fudged in order to allow the development to go ahead before the UNESCO application is formalized. Elected officials in the area and the department are in a hurry to build up anything there because once it is classified with UNESCO, it won't be possible anymore, he told the outlet. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Very sad. But anyway, thanks. Bye.